Hey guys, today we're going to show you how to restart MySQL. So if you have a MySQL database running and you need to restart it and you just don't know how and, and uh, don't, don't want to spend too much time Googling and just need someone to tell you, that's what we're here for today. So we're assuming you're on a system using System D. Most servers in the enterprise will be and probably most desktop systems you're, you're running. We're also assuming you're running Linux. It's going to be slightly different for other OS's, which I will cover briefly. So in any case, this main case we're assuming, so here we're running Ubuntu. So I'm going to actually go ahead and log out of root. I'm going to show you how you would run this as a regular user. So you'd say sudo system ctl and first just run status just to check my SQL, just to check that it's running. Now, if so we can see it's active and running. Now if I'm running as root, I wouldn't need sudo. But in any case, normally you're going to run as a normal user and use the sudo command. So if you want to actually restart this, just say restart. So the actual command is systemctl restart MySQL. That's going to restart MySQL server. Now on another distro with a different package, it might be like MySQL D or, or, or might be named differently. But on this distro in this system, this is how it's named. Just, just to be aware. Now that has restarted it. So we're gonna to wanna to check the status after we do that. So status, so, you know, active since um, Sunday, 2023, 8.13 at 2 a.m. So it's 2 a.m., it's after 2 a.m. right now. And I have just bounced this uh, service. So my SQL database server is back up as of 2 a.m. So let's go ahead and I'm going to show you how you could stop this. So in case you want to just shut it down. So another related but um, you know s similar thing that you, you might want to do. So check status. Oops. Status. And you can see status shows that it's inactive or dead since this time. So it is down, right? And it shows you, you know, the last few things in the logs. So any case, in a uh, status server shutdown complete. So there you go. Now, say you want to start it back up, you can say start. So we're using system CTL and we're saying stop, start, and restart and status. Those are so system CTL is the main tool we're using. Tell it the action you want it you want to complete and you specify the service you want to do this on. So it'd be the same thing if you were running like Nginx or whatever other different services. So anyway, start it back up. Check the status and you can see it is up and running now. Server is operational, it's active and running. So there you go. Uh, last couple things in the log, starting my SQL community server. So that is pretty terrific. So that's how we restart it or how also how we stop it and then start it and check the status. So if you're running on a system without uh, system D, you're, so, the system CTL command comes with system D. Some older systems, like say if you're using a init v um, or sysv init, um, you, you might use the service command. So you, you could say um, service, and I think this might work on this system. Now you, you're gonna restart that, you're gonna swap the order of this. So instead of MySQL, I'm not sure if this will, yeah, you can run status, right? So. If you just want to use the service command, you can use MySQL status. Um, you can also say restart. And that should restart it for you all the same. So that is an old command, the service command from systems running, um, you know, sysv init. And that is apparently, so I, I believe the way it works on a, a, on a modern system. Uh, system D system is that that's actually a wrapper that wraps around and basically just calls system CTL in the back end. But on older systems, that used to be the tool that you would use directly. So now it's an indirect tool that just calls system CTL and it's there for backwards compatibility and to make things easy for people who know the old way of doing things, which is all fine and great. And, you know, it's not to say that you have to be using system D. There are system D free systems that are completely fine and there are all sorts of other alternatives to using either of these uh, init systems. So just to be aware of, that's the Linux way of doing things. Um, 
I'm not going to be showing you Windows in this video, but I will show you the command you would use on Mac OS. So on Mac OS, you would use a command that looks like this sudo user local mysql support files mysql server restart um you know check the link in the description for these commands if you want to be able to copy and paste them yourself but um <clears throat> i have not tested this on on mac os recently so i can't confirm that that will work but the commands i did show you just now for linux do work on my current system so this is on ubuntu 22.04 should generally work on most Ubuntu, Red Hat, or even Arch Linux. This should work in almost the same way. They're all using systemd. So hopefully this helps someone out. Um, might want to give me a thumbs up. Leave a comment down below if you know something I don't know. Not just for me, for anyone else watching the video. Um, you're going to want to hit that subscribe button and hit the bell icon. Otherwise, YouTube won't let you know when we come out with a new video. And yeah, you definitely subscribe because you don't want to miss out on all the great stuff we have coming up. More database stuff, more systems and server stuff, um, coding, electronics, um, hardware, software, 3D printing, <clears throat> Raspberry Pis, and all sorts of great stuff you don't want to miss out on. So definitely subscribe. And that's about it for today. So thanks for watching, and we'll see you guys on that next video.